Hello, and welcome back to Air Engine Research. Since my last video, the motor that I had made to fit on the bicycle, it did work, but it was just too choppy because it didn't have enough RPMs with a two-cylinder. It, it was just too jerky. So that one doesn't work. So I need to have a continuous rotation, which I'm going to make with a three-cylinder design. It'll go like, like that. One, two, three cylinders. Now I'm going to use my eccentric drive system. This is kind of the side view of what it should look like on the inside. Originally I was going to have a cylinder here and have the, the valve sit on top of it and then use long extensions to push and pull the, the valve and have a gear that would drive another gear that would turn the small wheel. That way I can get more um, gear ratios by using like a 13 tooth sprocket here and a 23 sprocket there would give me like two turns of here to one turn on the, on the three inch wheel. And the three inch wheel to my bicycle wheel is a eight and a half or nine, so say 10. So I'd have two here and 10 there, which would give me a ratio of 20 to one, 20 times on the three inch, which should give me plenty of power and also a, a smooth drive instead of a jerky one when it goes. I didn't like the idea of having to have these long push rods. So I decided I'm going to use a cam drive. If I make a small cam, it be a, like a half inch offset on each side to make it go back and forth when this thing turns around. So that would push and pull on the two valve stamps, but I'd have to have it moved into the center to do that. And with this design, I can't move that in that way. So I'm going to have to figure out something else. I thought, well, maybe I can use this kind of design, but put this, this, the valve on the outside and then have the cam on the shaft over here. But I don't like that being on the outside. So I'm going to redesign on the inside to be able to move this in somehow and get that to work out. And while I was working on this, I needed to have something that would hold the This, this is the piston and it goes back and forth naturally on a thing which makes this rotate. Originally I had thought, well maybe I can put a plate on top and have something that would come down on the side of the push rod to hold it so that when it goes back and forth it, it is supported on the side. Otherwise when the piston comes out it wants to push sideways all the time because it's pushing on my eccentric, which makes it turn by going back and forth like so. So I thought that might work, but I don't like that big plate on there and I'd have to have a bearing in it. And it's just too complicated, I think. 
So I decided then I can make something that would fit on top of the cylinder and come down and be on each side of the push rod. So I'm, I'm going to go with this design now. It'll just bolt on top of the cylinder and it'll hold it from each side. That's something you can see when it, when it gets done. I know looking at my plans, it may be hard to figure out what the heck I'm talking about, but there is design ideas involved in it. Well, I guess maybe this one might show it a little better. There's a lot of designing goes into it, and sometimes it just doesn't work out what I what I design. I'm hoping that I can get all this all this inside of a six inch opening and have the three inch wheel centered in between so that the weight will be distributed evenly on both sides of the bicycle. Having it sitting on top of the wheel in the first place is is a little bit uh, the center of balance is it's pretty high. If you lean over too far it wants to dump over so you have to be careful with that. Now I'm not sure how how this wheel here will be positioned. If this is how it sits on the bicycle, this wheel, I may end up having to put it down lower to keep this stuff from hitting on top of the, the bicycle wheel. So, I'll have to work that out. <clears throat> But for now, I've, I've done some things that uh, have made a, a jig where I can build this, this thing here. There's a, a piece goes here, this will be on top of it, and these two pieces go underneath it. Kind of hard to hold it all together. There'll be two of them. This will be on on one side over the top of this, and there'll be another one on this side, and this will be under it, and that will set then on top of the push rod that goes back and forth to to support it sideways. That's my plan. I have some parts made already and I've been working on trying to get everything to fit in the, into the six inch opening. So I'll give you a little view of that right quick here. Let's see there, let me be able to get it. This will be the eccentric drive but as you can see this here as it goes back and forth it has to be supported on on both sides otherwise it wants to bind up as you can see it does so anyway, I have to support those and then it'll be okay. And this will be the drive with the 
23 tooth gear on it and that's be the 13 tooth drive gear there. And this is the cylinder or the uh, valve rather, I'm sorry. And it'll be mounted up here, up underneath. And the cam will be mounted on the shaft here somewhere. Looks like a mess, doesn't it? I'm not hoping that uh, it'll work out okay in the long run. I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't started working on the uh, on the valve system or the clutch system yet. So. That's going to take me a while, especially making that small little tooth thing here. That's going to be a, a lot of hand work. Since I'm not a machinist, I can't make something like that on a metal lathe. I know how to turn something down and make holes, but that's about it. And this is my tooth things I'm going to use for the camshaft or the cam drive. I'll have to drill the holes in there and a couple of holes for bolting it together. There's going to have to be a space in between it. Oops. Bolt that together then. Fit it on my drive shaft and figure out the timing on it to make it open and close the valves at the right time. And this thing, hopefully I'll be able to drill just this hole and this hole and then put it on top of the setup and drill through and go through all the rest of it so everything will be fit together. And these four holes here, I'll drill through those, and that will be the holes for mounting it on top of the uh, cylinder. Oh, we'll have to see how that goes. Well, I hope some of the things I showed you today are at least interesting to you. It may take me quite a while yet to get the things all worked out, but I will eventually get things put together where they'll work. That's one thing I have to say. Every one that I've ever made have worked to some degree or another, but some of them look pretty goofy maybe. I'll try to make this one look as uh, pleasing as I can. So thanks for checking in. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been working on, even though it may not make a whole lot of sense to you. Eventually I'll get everything put together and do some test runs on it. For today thank you again and if you would please subscribe either give me a thumbs up or thumbs down so i know how i'm doing so until next time